it is a week that all of us we must be able to forgive. The Vice President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Dr. Constantino Kuvea Chuenga, together with his wife, Colonel Minio Tabo, and some family members joined the Catholic family from St. Mary's Cathedral, Minor Basilica, for Palm Sunday service in Bulawayo. The Vice President, who is a devout Catholic himself, told the congregants after the service that he had come to Bulawayo for a family wedding and thus decided to stay for Mass. We were here in Bulawayo for a family. We had a family with the two. Uh, with my group uh, in Rose, there was uh, my sister who was waiting yesterday. And so we decided rather than flying back to Harare last night, we would um, join the Palm Sunday here with you <coughs> and we are so grateful that um, we have managed to join you. Dr. Chiwenga preached forgiveness which begins with forgiving oneself. He also urged those who could fast during Lent season which ended on Palm Sunday but what was important was to assist the underprivileged and visit the sick. But also, it is a week that all of us, we must be able to forgive as we are being forgiven by our Lord Jesus. We will ask ourselves the question, who are we? Not to forgive and to forget. As we remember it on the Good Friday, what I hope we have been all been able to help <coughs> the poor to visit the sick, to do those things which we could not ordinarily do throughout the year. It is also the, you know, the period we have been going through to cleanse ourselves and to think about God's love. He emphasized on unity which must begin from families to communities and to the entire nation. The greatest opportunity of our blessings and the opportunity that God has given us. So what do we do? We are going through difficult times, being in the family, being in our communities, be it as a country, as Bishop Alex was saying, the quadrant. But we must take it as a blessing and an opportunity. Why? It gives it brings us closer to God, is it? On the drought that is affecting the entire country, the vice president pointed out that the government will not let anyone starve, and he urged people to continue praying. On our part, as government, we will make sure that our people are given the food during this period of the drought. But what do we do ourselves as Christians? Is to make sure we bring everybody close to God. The Archbishop of Bulawayo, Alex Thomas, had a few words to the Vice President. He observed that Dr. Chiwenga does not miss Sunday Mass. Thank you for your humility. I know very well that you are in this a Sunday Mass. You are so much important to Sunday Mass. I'm sure you will die for Holy Mass and for the country. So that is what we appreciate that we have to live for our faithfulness. And I am also very happy that you brought your dear wife to the faith so seriously. And she is always with you and the whole family.
When the mass ended, the vice president entertained questions from the media, asked on how critical was the Easter holiday. He responded. The Easter Holy Day is very critical, as we have uh, heard that um, it's one of the most celebrated, um, uh, we say, whether you want to call it uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, um, a period, we would prefer to call it a period, because it extends for, it starts with the 40 days, 40 nights fasting. And then you go to the World Week, which has started today. This is all being done to uh, the 40 days of fasting are done in remembrance of uh, the fasting Jesus had to do when he went into the wilderness. To the motoring public who would be driving around during the holidays, as well our youngsters, Dr. Chiwenga had this advice. Our young people must um, first take this Easter Holy Day for them to remember the love of God and then do the correct thing what God wants. Desist from alcohol abuse, desist from drugs, desist from any immoralities which destroy society. And once they do that, they will be the future leaders of this country and they will build the country in terms of what God wants. And for the motoring public during this Easter, it's not, it's a Solomon uh, period where we must think about uh, the, uh, the, the love of God, you know, in, uh, in, in, uh, in sending his son to die for us. So it's not the time to drink and be merry and then go wild on the roads and cause a lot of carnage and uh, you know, you know, destruction leading to death. That's not the type of, we would want people to be disciplined and to, yes, to remember this. We are not saying they must now be mourning, but they must be happy, but they must be joyful to say they have, this is the period of receiving blessings, this is the period of getting opportunities. It's also the period of giving, going to see the sick and helping the poor. This publication proposed to the Vice President to resuscitate the redundant youth clubs around Bulawayo. He concurred saying, Honorable Reporting for Zim GPC News, Prominence Kumalo. <laughs>